Hello everyone, <coughs> I'm Steven from the Dyspraxia System and today I want to talk about people versus parts. Um, this is a way that systems describe their authors. Um, you're in the system community, you've probably seen it around. Um, if you're a system yourself, you probably already know about this, um, but yeah, people versus parts, um, it's just two different ways to describe authors. Um, with people, it's that you feel like you and your alters um, are more separate. And you're all different people because you all have different personalities. So every author is person because they have their own personality, um, which can help if you struggle with seeing yourself as an individual, um, struggle with, oh, but are, are we really that separate or do I mask a lot like the host? Now, if you struggle with finding your individuality as an alter, um, you might help to use the people uh, instead of the parts. The only thing that, you know, could happen if you use the people um, part once more. Uh, if you see yourself as different people, um, it could be that you end up falling into, oh, but that's all there is a different person, so I don't have to be responsible for their actions, and that system responsibility doesn't fully uh, happen um, in case you want to know what system responsibility is we made a video about that which we'll link up here um, but generally speaking it, it, it helps uh, it can help with like finding your individuality and um, seeing yourself as more separate um, which in certain cases is an important thing to do. Um, if you, as a non-trauma holder, want to distance yourself more from the trauma, my hope to see the trauma holders as different people entirely. Um, you do definitely still need to be aware that you're all in the same body, so you're all responsible for each other's actions. Um, because this some responsibility is a thing no matter how you see yourselves. Um, yeah, um, with parts, uh, it's kind of the opposite of seeing yourself as different people. Because with parts, it's that you see yourself as parts that make up one whole. Um with the mindset that if the amnesia barriers weren't set up, if you were or integrated well as a kid, you would have been one personality, one person. So it's all different parts that may make up one personality and one person. Um, I've heard that this helps uh, if you want fusion. Um, because you already see each other as like more of asshole as one whole than separate. Um, you need to grow closer and like become one new whole if you fuse. Um, we also made a video about fusion. Uh, if you aren't aware what I mean by that. Um, but yeah. I've heard that it can help with fusion. Um, think with the parts, 
um, to assume responsibility is kind of like normal, sadder, more probably because you do see each, each other as just like making up one whole. So then it's easier to see, oh, yes, of course I'm responsible for that part's uh, actions because we all make up one whole. Um, but it can make it so that you struggle with seeing yourself as, an, as m more of an individual. Um, doesn't have to be a bad thing, seeing yourself as an individual. Doesn't have to be a bad thing. Because um, you do all inhabit the same body and the same brain. So obviously, you're going to be similar in some form or way. Um, so it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But I know some systems do struggle with it um so yeah that's the downside maybe of parts um we personally use a mix of people and parts um we see each other as different people but we are aware that we make up one whole uh, um we use thing that parts sound as uh, short um, because we feel like we're so different from each other that if we were to become one whole, uh, if you were to say that our different authors make up one whole, it's, it would be a very messy whole person. We don't, we don't see how as different alters would make up one personality um but we do understand that we're like one whole um because we make up you know the body um so it's it's a mix for us um i don't know if i'm explaining it well but yeah we definitely see each other as like separate people separate people um, but also as a whole, just a whole of different people, um, kind of just like a household, I guess, um, or different members of one household, so to say, um, and like we make up one whole, one household. Household is separated into different people. Um, and that's how we see ourselves too. Um, only fragments think we don't see us different people um, because they're less distinct. Um, most of the time, they just have one single world, um, so one emotion or one action that they do at the front. So then, like, if we were mostly fragments, um, we will probably lean towards parts and not towards people. Um, but yeah, with how we see ourselves, we still, you know, it helps with our individuality. Um, we, we do say that we're parts sometimes, we do use the terminology. Um, but we, we definitely see each other ourselves different people, um, which helps us feel more distinct, um, more and separate, um, just, yeah, it just helps with our image of, oh yeah, no, I'm different than Loki, for example, or than Ashka, or, and, um, hiccup or Tom, um, just helps with that, which is nice. Um, and yeah, maybe if we do end up wanting to fuse, which we don't, um, maybe then we'll start leaning more towards parts, but right now. We're happy seeing ourselves as different people that make up one whole. Um, so yeah, we just combined the two. <laughs> uh, 
we're not all different people because we have one body but we're also not part of a whole we're both in a way um but yeah this will differ per system um whether they see themselves as parts or as people um neither one is wrong neither one is right well they're both right but like not one is the correct one and the other one is wrong it's really up to the individual system and what works for them um like i said for the parts uh you'll see more often with people that want to fuse uh partly or fully and people you probably see more um with people that want functional multiplicity um that would be my guess um but that's not don't assume that you know what they want based on which terminology they use um you're probably tons of systems out there too that do the other way around um but yeah if you have any questions or whatever leave them down below in the comments if you have if no what if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to follow us on social media those are in the description we barely use Instagram. We're not really sure what to put on there. So um, if you were to choose one, I advise to follow us on Twitter. Um, but yeah, you can do both. Just know that we post on Instagram once every couple of months or something like that. Um, so don't be surprised if we're pretty inactive there. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. We upload every Wednesday, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!